Welcome back to the stage of history. No, but for honestly though, um, I made a tutorial years ago about Franken spriting, which is basically combining different parts of the body to make new sprites. And it, it's really bad. I don't recommend looking for it, but it's uh, it's really bad quality audio. So I'm going to redo that tutorial and um, simple, very quick. Um, basically, I'm not getting too in depth with it, just the basic idea of it. And uh, if you look here, this is Jimmy. He has one air attack for punch, one air attack for kick. I'm going to take his legs and I'm going to clean them up. And I'm going to attach these arms to them. Same thing, you have to clean up the arms and the legs. I use two applications for this one, which is the Hydra app that I'm using right now, and Paint Classic. If you're using um, Windows Paint, Microsoft Paint, the new version, it doesn't work very well. It, well, it works very well actually, it's just it doesn't work for this uh, thing. I think these, no, these shoes are different. Okay. The hard part is telling the difference. So you have to clean up the sprites first, remove all unnecessary details. In this case, these are legs, so I only need legs. I don't need arms. And these are arms, I don't need legs. It can be kind of tricky depending on the sprite, but it's not that bad usually. think you do the best you can trying to clean them up this application that I use um, I draw it does not do copy and paste very well but what I'm using um, paint for is this special uh, feature that has that not many people talk about so I'm going to take all of these put them into paint classic paste them ink dropper tool Copy the background color with the left click, bucket tool, fill, ink dropper tool, right click, make sure color one and color two the same color, right? Go to select, go to transparent selection. Whatever second color will be transparent when you move it around. So right now, if I do this, I can overlap sprites. Normally, if this is not on, you get this like you can't do much of anything with it so I'm gonna take a copy of the legs this one's a little intricate one so I want to butcher the arm off uh, get the legs on the body I think here and then I'm gonna butcher the arm back on no it has to go more undo okay it looks strange yes But it's one of those trust the process type of things. There you go. Now he has a new air punch. Actually, I used the wrong foot that time. It's this foot. There we go. Uh, I think that's it. That looks good. Okay, same thing with this one. Except this one, his arm is in the back, which makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, see, that's, that's a lot easier, actually. And since he has a belt, it makes it kind of easy to align. Obviously, don't cover the whole belt. You want to leave some of it sticking out. And you work around that. So, just like that, by cleaning up two body parts, I've made two air attacks. And paste it back here. Pretty simple, yeah? I do this for characters that don't have a lot of sprites. And it's, yeah. <laughs> I, I just I do this to give them more life. Uh, let's see. Another one I wanted to do was, okay. So he already has a low kick and a high kick. Uh, here's something alternatively you can do. Uh, let's look around. Okay, he has this kick here, but his arm is blocking it. Uh, let's see. It's kind of the same as that kick, it's just different. Alright, so let's butcher up some pieces. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna take this one at the knee. I'm gonna zoom in. And I'm going to clean up this leg. Okay, and now I'm going to, let's see if I rotate this normally. Uh, let's see. Not bad, actually it looks pretty good for a rotation. Let's combine them using paint. Put this one on top. Mm, I don't know what's too long for this guy. He's got long limbs. Let's see. Uh, that's about right, actually. Okay. Now we just clean up the rest of it. You need to have a lot of imagination for this, for it to work properly. Because you got to think outside the box. Majority of the time. Okay, I'll use this one as a base. Yeah, I'll use that one as a base. Boom. Chop his leg off. Boom. And take it to classic paint. Leg. And there. Okay. Copy it back in. Now I can work on it to clean it up. For the record, I am not making this character. I just used him as an example because it worked the best for the reason. And there you go. Now he's got a, a straight kick with his foot in a different angle. Convert to this one. Look at that. See? Ain't that so nice. Now here's a tricky one. Um... So I want this kick to be in the air, right? But clearly this foot's up and this foot's in the back. I don't have any many sprites like this with the foot's in the back. So this is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to use this leg here for this sprite. As you can see, if I just put it over, it looks like that. And for this one, oddly enough, using this leg and rotating it a couple times, you get this angle, which works out like this, which makes it an air kick. So let's clean this up and let's put it together. As for when you should stop cleaning up and, and move, you know, moving on from there, I, I don't know. You just clean up what you think you need to clean up and you go from there really. It's all prosthetics looking anyways, anyway, so. Okay. It's going to be all three. These two are kind of the same frame, sort of. So we're going to keep it the same way. All right, let's uh, chop this leg off. Chop this leg off. Same here. Okay. And now this one, this is going to need a little work, obviously. Maybe if I did the other way around. Yeah. If I do it the other way around, it looks better, actually. So. And there we go. Now he has a slight air variation of that kick. Not too shabby, I, I think. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to really do to um, Franken Sprite, as they call it. You just take off different parts of the body, you rotate them to get different things, and uh, you put them together. I like to use paint to put them together because it's very simple and standard and it just works for what I wanted to do uh, and I love using eyedrop and using eyedrop 3 for like years 
this application was made for RPG Maker 95 and I've just been using it for Mugen and Eichmann Go the whole time. It's perfect for sprites because it's it's set to the standard of Mugen at the time. So it, it's just one of my favorite things to do. I, I love drawing pixels too. Um, another thing I like about iDraw is that it does rotation. So if I rotate it by say 20 degrees, it'll rotate 20 degrees. The, the problem with this is uh, you get artifacting like this. Like this could work. All you have to do to make this a straight kick would be literally to just clean up the pixels. Uh, let's see. I like the line tool, my favorite. And of course, when you're cleaning up pixels like this, you, you gotta have a better idea of drawing than I do because <laughs> no one's leg is that straight. Put a little more ruffles back in there. Okay. Yeah, and then it also has this like um, shape selector thing. You could just pretty much pick whatever shape you want, and it'll let you attach it like that too. So that is definitely uh, an interesting thing. Fix this. Uh, let's attach him. I'm not good at drawing, so this is not going to look good at all. Yeah, close enough, I think. Yeah, yeah, close enough. Sometimes moving a pixel one one over that makes a big difference. But look at that, I just turned his uh, down kick into a straight kick. What do you know? And it looks pretty good too. So, that's all for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.